Okay, in this video, we're going to practice how to use a very exciting and a very useful Gemara web-based application. You should have it uh, bookmarked in your browser and make sure that you're using Chrome and not Safari. Okay, we're going to find the website. Now this dialog box that opens, you don't need to use. This is if you wanted to open up some text of Gemara or Mishnah, but we're not going to be doing that. Instead, you're going to be going to File, and you're going to open up a file that I send you, and it's going to be called Rosh Hashanah Plain. And your page should look like this. This is your work area. So basically what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be formatting the Mishnah. We're going to be dividing into its parts. As we discussed, the Mishnah is, is made up of several parts. It could have a title, could have a case or a setting, a topic that it discusses. It's going to tell us the Din, the law that applies for that particular case. It might also give us the reason for a Din. It might also mention the name of a speaker. So we're going to be looking for those different components of the Mishnah, and we're going to be dividing the Mishnah into its parts. You see, you can stop this video anytime you wish, so you can be caught up and review as much as you need. This is what the video is for. So we're starting the Mishnah together. Be'arba prakim aulam nidon. And we click here to indicate a stop. This means that there are four times during the year that the world is judged. We're going to divide, and there are two ways to divide. We can divide into sections like this, or subdivide. In a Mishnah, we're going to always be using divide. Now, once we click divide, this dialog box opens, so we want to push it out a little bit out of the way, and we're going to be using this in a little while. First, we're just going to divide the Mishnah into its components. So the title told us that in this Mishnah, there's going to be a mentioning four different times during the year when there's judgment, when Hashem is judging. So we're going to be looking for those four times. So here is Bapesach, that's the first time. So we're going to click here and divide. The first time that Hashem judges is on Pesach, and that is Alatvua. Hashem judges on grain. We're going to divide there because the next word, Be'atzeret, is the next holiday. Atzeret is the way the Mishnah refers to the holiday of Shavuot. This is the holiday, Atzeret. And we click here and divide. And on Shavuot, Hashem judges al Peirot Ailan, on the fruits of that tree. So we click here and stop because Rosh Hashanah is the next holiday. So we divide. Be Rosh Hashanah. That's the third holiday in which judgment happens, and we divide here. On Rosh Hashanah, Kol Baye Olam, all the people of the world, Ovrim Lefanaf, pass before him, meaning before Hashem, Kivnei Maron, like the sheep pass before the shepherd. And we're going to stop here at the word Shenemar, because the word Shenemar is a road sign. It's a word that introduces the next part of the Mishnah, which is a Pasuk. So we divide there. Shenemar, as the Pasuk in Tehilim says, Ayotzer Yachat Libam, that Hashem creates together all their hearts, meaning Hashem creates all human beings, Amevin El Kol Maasehim, and He understands, meaning He analyzes all their Maasim, all their actions. And we stop here because Bechag is the next holiday, so we divide, O Bechag, and on Chag, which is the Mishnah's term for Sukkot, and we stop here, Nidonin Alamaim, Hashem judges on Sukkot over the water. So let's review what we've done so far. We took a Mishnah that is just uh, basically a, a long sentence, and we were able to divide it into different components. Let's review what we've done so far. The Mishnah starts by telling us, Be'arba prakim ha'olam nidon that the world is judged on four different times, and here are going to be the four times. Pesach, and it's ju the judgment on Pesach is on the Tvoa, on the grain. Then here is the second time that Hashem judges, which is Atzeret, that Shavuot. 
and the judgment of Shavuot is al perot ha'ilan on the fruit of the tree. The next time that Hashem judges is Berosh Hashanah, and on Rosh Hashanah Hashem judges Kol Ba'i Olam, all the people of the world, we pass before Him and Hashem judges us. Shenemar, and then we bring this Pasuk, Teilim, as the Pasuk says, that Hashem creates everybody, but He also looks at their actions. And finally, Bechag, which is the last of the holidays that is mentioned as a time of judgment, that Sukkot, and Hashem judges on the water. So now we have done the following. In this process, we use Gemara Bura to do three things. Divide, classify, and connect. So we've done so far the D, the divide. We identify the different parts of the Mishnah, and we use different techniques. As we go through the learning over the next few months, you're going to be experts at doing this. So one thing that helps us divide is when we found out the name of a holiday, that's obviously a, a separate thing. So here is a holiday, a second holiday, the third holiday, and the fourth holiday. Now the word Shenemar also helps us because Shenemar always, always introduces a Pasuk. It could be from Chumash, it could be from Tehillim, it could be from somewhere in Tanakh. And that Pasuk is being used as a proof for something, like in this case. And then we also have the Din, meaning what is the judgment on Pesach? It is on the grain. What is the judgment on Shavuot? It is on the fruit of the tree. What is the judgment Rosh Hashanah is called by Olam, all the people of the world are judged. And finally, what is the judgment on Chag, on Sukkot, that is judgment on water. So therefore, we divided the Mishnah. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to classify. To classify means we're going to think about what each of these parts of the Mishnah is doing. Is it, for example, a title? Or is it, for example, a case? A case is the topic that is discussing, or the setting, the situation that is discussing. Or maybe it's going to be a din, a law, which is telling us what applies to that setting or that case. Maybe we'll find a speaker. It happens to be that in this Mishnah we don't have the name of a speaker. Maybe we have a reason. It's telling us the reason for something. So that's what we're going to be doing now. So what we're going to be doing is we click on the plus. Biarba prakima olam nidon. So the first thing in the Mishnah could be either a title or it could be a case. And that depends on whether that sentence is something very general or is telling us a specific situation. So in this case, it tells us four times during the year. So that's a general thing. So we're going to call this a koterit, a title. Okay? A Mishnah does not always have a title. Sometimes a Mishnah just starts with a case. Now let's go to Pesach. Four times during the year Hashem judges. The first time is Pesach. So Pesach is going to be a mikre, a case. Now, the next line is telling us, okay, Hashem judges on Pesach. What does He judge on, about? So that He judges about the grain. Well, the Alatua, that's going to be the Din. That's the law. That's the law that applies to Pesach. That's what Hashem does on Pesach, is the Tua, the grain. The next thing at Seret is the second case of the Mishnah. The next holiday is Shavuot. So we're going to call that a Mikre, another case. Now the next line of the Mishnah tells us what is Hashem judging on Shavuot? He's judging on the Perot Ha'ilan. So Perot Ha'ilan is the Din. That's what applies to the case of Shavuot. The next one, you might have guessed it, Rosh Hashanah is going to be a case. That's the third holiday. Kol ba'ye ha'olam ovrim lefanav kivnei maron, that Hashem judges all human beings on that day, that is going to be the din. That's what Hashem is doing in Rosh Hashanah. That's what applies to Rosh Hashanah, that Hashem judges at all the human beings. Now, Shenemar, as the Pasuk says in Teilim, that Hashem creates all the hearts of the people, and He also looks at their actions, that is a reason. That is the reason. That's how we know that Hashem judges on Rosh Hashanah. And now we're down to the last case of the four cases, the fourth holiday where Hashem judges, but that's Bechag. And that, of course, is going to be a case. And Nidoni and Aramayim, that Hashem judges on the water, that is what happens on Chag. So we call that the law. Okay. So, so far, we've done two out of the three uh, tasks that we have to do in with this Mishnah. 
we divided it. Now we know what each line is doing. This is a title. This is a case. This is the law that applies in this case. This is the next case. This is the law for that case and so on down the line. What we're going to do now is very, very important. By the way, you may want to look on the left side and you may have to move your dialog box out of the way a little bit. You're going to see that we have the K, the, um, we have the title and the boxes that go with each part of the Mishnah. Now look what's going to happen. Whatever is included in the Mishnah is not random statements. They relate to each other. They're connected. They have something to do with each other. So we're going to show now that connection. So Pesach is one of the four cases that the title is talking about. The title says, there are four times during the year when Hashem judges. So we're going to connect this to the title to show that this belongs to the title. By indenting it, it shows that this is part of that. Now, this is the din for this case. So we're going to show that this din applies to this case. Now, so here we have created a connection. This is the din for this case, and this case is part of this title. Now, these ones are not connected. The way they are here now, they are like separate statements, but they're not. They're really connected to each other. For example, this case is also part of this title. We can really close this dialog box because we already finished doing the labeling, and that will give us a, a view of what's, what's creating here on the, on the left side of the page. This is creating a flow chart, meaning we're here able to visually see the connection between the different parts of the Mishnah. This is the title, one case that is part of that, and the law that applies to it. This is the second case, which is at Seret, which is over here. That case is also part of the title. Now we're going to connect this din to that case. Because look, the way it is here now is showing that this din is separate. They're all aligned like this. There's no connection between them. But that's not really true. This din belongs to this case. So we want to connect it. We want to connect it to this, to this one. Okay. Now, there's a mistake here. We're going to undo that. So we're going to connect this DIN to this case. So now we're showing that this DIN belongs to this case and not to this or to these cases. This new case belongs to the title. This DIN belongs to this case. This is new here. This is a reason. This is the reason how we know that Rosh Hashanah Shem judges people. So we're going to connect this to the DIN because that's the reason for the DIN. This, what we're showing now is that this reason applies here part of this case, but it doesn't apply to these ones. The last case is Chag, Sukkot, and that applies to, that relates to the title. And this is the Din for this particular case. Okay? So now let's take a look what we've done so far. The Mishnah tells us there are four times during the year when Hashem judges. Here are the cases. The four times. One, two, three, and four. And here the, we have the Din. It's telling us what Hashem judges on each particular time. Here's the Din for this case. The Din for this case. The din for this case, and this is the reason for this din, and this is the din for the last case. And if you look on the left side, you see the title, the four cases, the din for each case, and finally the reason for that particular din. So now that you're done, you go to File, and you save as, and give it a, a name, call it Rosh Hashanah 1, colon 2, and you have it part of your file to be able to study.